Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Hope everyone is enjoying their week. I am going to let some people jump on. Hi Instagram again, hi Kimberly. So I'm gonna wait for some people to jump on. As you do jump on, say hi, where you're coming in from. Hi Leanne, hi John, hi Jess. Give me some thumbs up, some hearts, some wow faces, whatever you want to give me. And let me know where you're coming in from. I know Leanne's coming in from Pittsburgh. And we're going to be going over some interesting stuff today. And I'm, I'm going to share a little bit more of me with you guys, maybe some stories you have not heard. And again, if you want my free gift this week is actually, hi Linda, great to see you on here. Hi Amy. Uh, my free gift to you guys this week is a 10-page ebook on money mindset and some things that really help me so you can get three tips that, that really change things for me, but also a 26-page um, business plan. So people that are running online businesses or internet-based business or network marketing business, I'm going to give you a free 26-page outline of, of how you can run your business, what you need, uh, what, what you're required to make it run. So all you have to do, hi, Joy. From Phoenix, love it. Let me know where you guys are coming in from. Again, if you hit the share button and you let me know that you shared it, you're going to get a free ebook and a free business plan from me on how to be more productive but also more organized in your business. So let me know where you're coming in from. Hi, Don. Hi, Brian. Again, um, hit some thumbs, some hearts. Whatever you guys want to give me, just so I know you guys can hear me loud and clear. What's up, Jason? How you doing? So, again, the other thing is hit that share button. We need more people to hear this, not just because it's my story, but I want to be able to give this content away. I want you guys to really learn from this. I have three, three really important tips with dealing with money. So, before I go into my story, I want to talk to you guys. And what's good, Aaron? What's up, Chuck? I want to ask you guys in the chat box. Um, by a simple why for yes or yes, do you guys feel that you have a good mindset relationship with money? Hi, Stacy. So I'm going to ask that again. You know, just type why or yes in the chat box. Do you feel that you have a good relationship mindset wise with money? Yes or no? Just so I know who's on the same page as me and who's not. If you have some negative self-talk with money, if you have some lack mindset, you know, where do you feel you might be lacking? Why in the chat box? And in the chat box? Yes in the chat box? No in the chat box? Just so I know you guys are with me. Hi, Ori. Again, if you share this content, yes, says John. Good. If you guys share this content, I have a free ebook and a full 26-page biz, business plan for you. Linda, thank you. I appreciate your honesty. Let's all give Linda a huge virtual high 10 for being very open and honest that she feels that she does not have a good money mindset right now. Great, Leanne. Yes. Awesome. I, I, I like hearing from you guys. Anyone else? Yes or no? Do you feel you have a good mindset with your money and your habits and the things that take to run a successful business? And again, if you share this content, all you have to do is hit that share button, and I will send you a free ebook on this content plus a full 26 page business plan. Chuck, thank you again for being vulnerable and for being honest. That's wonderful. I want to commend you on that. Ori, thank you so much for being like, this is important, guys, for you to acknowledge. Hi, Linda, for you to acknowledge that you have. At times, so Joy, I'm gonna ask you, is it more yes or more no? Because at times can mean both. Do you have more often than not a good mindset with money or a bad mindset with money? So I'm gonna ask you that. Hi Pam, so hi Linda, welcome. That's why I'm here. Chuck, I love it, I'm gonna teach you everything, but I'm gonna share my story with you guys too. What's up Chris? Again, if you guys are just joining, hit that share button so you can bring some more people on here. Hi Tammy. And if you hit the share button, you get a free ebook and a free 26 page business plan from me. And if you're on the replay, same goes for you. If I get a notification that you've shared this, 
I will send out that information on to you. All you have to do is get me your email address. Joy Marie says, more often bad. Joy, thank you for your honesty. That's what I was trying to get to. And Trish, looking forward to hearing. Thank you, Trish. And I just asked everyone, so if you want to you know, um, engage, I'm asking people, do they feel like they have more often than not a positive outlook uh, mindset-wise with money or negative? So Trish, I'll ask you the same question. Anyone coming on, you can just hit Y for yes. N for no, and I can, you know, Instagram as well. You guys can, can play along with this as well. And again, if you're just joining, I'll say it one more time before I go into the content. Share this, send me your email address, you'll get a free 10 page ebook and a 26 page business plan. Trish says negative. Thank you for your honesty. Now, before we get into the, the content, it's, it's really important that you guys actually know uh, a little bit about me and you actually know the timeline of, of myself and you know where I was and where I am now. Stacy says no, thank you Stacy. And again, if anyone's coming on, I asked everyone, what is your relationship with money, positive or negative? Leanne says I fall into negativity on occasion, so it does happen. Jeff, welcome brother. So here's a little bit about me. So for those of you that do not know me, my, my name is Scott Aaron. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I've been in the health and wellness industry for almost 20 years now. I started in the industry in 1997, and how I got into this industry, um, my father, who is, is still very close to me, he's still uh, you know one of my best friends, he had made some bad business decisions when I was younger and ended up going to federal prison for two and a half years when I was 18 years old. And this was a, a very impressionable age in my life. And it's still sometimes hard to talk about because there was a lot of resentment and a lot of anger because I lost my innocence. You know, at, at 18, I left the University of Pittsburgh. I re-enrolled at Temple University and I then had to, to run my family's first fitness club called Old City Ironworks. And at 18 years old, not only was I having to run a business, but I also had to take care of my mom and take care of my baby sister. And I had to grow up really fast because at 18, I was forced into action, but I wouldn't have had it any other way. So nothing was ever handed to me. This gym that we took over, it was not doing great. Uh, by the time my father got home before 2000, the gym went from about 450 members to 1,100 members, doing about going from doing about $195,000 a year to about $325,000 a year. And I'm not going to take all the credit for that. I had great instructors, I had great trainers, but I I got that that entrepreneurial mindset that people require, and I got the bug. I started personal training. I started doing sports nutrition. And I'm going to ask you guys, anyone jumping on, if you do share this content, you do get a free ebook and a business plan from me. Just let me know via Facebook message with your email address that you shared it. And again, if you guys are resonating with this content, thank you, hearts, thumbs, just so I know you guys can relate to this. What's up, James? Good to see you on here live. Chris, Maria, how are you? So, Ariel, what's up, brother? Um, really, really good to see everybody on here. But again, you know, this is, this, this, it's never easy to be this vulnerable, but it's important you guys know. My second location uh, for my gym was opened in 2002. So by 2002, we had a successful thriving business called Old City Ironworks and a second location called Ironworks 2. And in 2003, my family was approached by another family that was in the industry and offered us a million dollars for both gyms. And this was a really big turning point in my life because I was, I was going from a business owner to, to not. But again, that, that carrot was, was waved in front of my face and my family's face, and we took the deal. And at 24 years old, I, I became a millionaire. There was a million dollars in my business banking account. And I remember, you know, after, I remember sitting at the table 
with our business attorneys and we, we signed the paperwork, the money was wired over and my, myself, my mom and my dad, we went to the Capitol Grill in downtown Philadelphia and treated us ourselves to a really nice lunch. And I remember sitting there thinking, what's next? What's next? And it's one of those things where I didn't know what was next. But what happened was we, we kind of sat around for a year and just personal trained at one of the old gyms that we were at. We, were, we parted ways at that point. And we looked to open up a new gym. And that's when we opened up our, sec, our third and final location in East Falls, right outside of Manion, called East Falls Fitness. And due to bad investments, loans, uh, other means of not doing business properly with some business partners and things that were done improperly, by 2007, that million dollars worth of obviously asset turned into $1.6 million in debt and it was in my name. So in the matter of three and a half years, I went from a millionaire to being almost $2 million in debt. And I could have chosen to give up. I could have chosen to throw in the towel. I could have chosen to say, you know what? That's it. I'm done. You know, there, there's, there's no coming back from this. In 2013, you know, we, the, the company filed for debt consolidation. So um, I, I needed to make a move. And I knew that that was going to help the company out. And it did. It gave us a little bit of breathing room. And two years later, you know, other things were uncovered. Other things were discovered. And I had to file for bankruptcy, which was a very, very humbling experience. Because when people hear the word bankruptcy, they think, oh, they're broke. I never struggled. I always found a way. Always. I never gave up. And going through that, you know, being a father, being a business owner, and have to, have to, have to file for bankruptcy, you know, it wasn't my lowest point in my life. But I learned at a very early age, through the experience of my father going to prison, how resilient I actually was and how I knew I could achieve anything. And in two years, in two years, and exactly what James just said, when there's a will, there's a way. Hi, Amy. Hi, Michelle. And if anyone's just jumping on, hit the share button. Um, like Jody said that she did, I will send you a free ebook on this content and a 26 page business plan on what I've learned about my experience. And so I went from filing bankrupt bankruptcy in 2015 to having multiple thriving businesses online where I'm achieving the greatest success that I've ever achieved. And I was able to close my gym. I was able to retire from personal training to pursue my real passions, my real goals, my real dreams, which is helping people in any and all ways possible. And what you guys got to realize, I'm not an anomaly. There's nothing I did that was special except believing in myself, believing in myself, just like you all need to believe in you. And I felt like it was really, really important for me to share this with you guys because everyone sees what everyone is doing now. But people don't know that I lost everything twice. I lost everything twice before the age of 36. And I'm still here. I am still standing and I am thriving. So whenever you tell yourself, I'm never getting out of this, it is never going to get better. It will. If you believe that it's going to get better. If you guys are resonating with this, thank you, Maria, for sharing this. Thank you, Chuck. Welcome, Michelle. Welcome, Tiffany. If you, thank you so much for the hearts. If you guys are resonating with this, please type Y or yes in the chat box.
and share with this group. What's up, Josh? Share with the group. Have you experienced something similar? I know my, my story is, I'm not alone in this. I know there's people that have experienced something similar. Have you experienced something similar? Yes, you know, what, like, let me know how you guys are receiving this. Yes, share, thank you. Thank you, James, I'm 38, I appreciate that, brother. It's what happens when you take care of yourself. Thank you, yes, Al says yes, Linda says yes. And you guys have to understand, no one, no one is by themselves. Thank you, guys. I, I pre First, I appreciate and I'm grateful for all of you guys for allowing me to feel comfortable enough and vulnerable enough to share my story with you. Because you guys need to know, everyone sees what's happening with me right now and the shifts and the changes that I've made. I didn't do it by myself, and I'm going to go over some things that I did. But you guys can do the same thing. Anyone that does share this, obviously you're going to get my free ebook and also a 26-page business plan on how you can become more organized and things that I've done to get myself going. Maria says, yes, she had to rebuild four years ago, has taken that long to rebuild and confidence. And, and that's the thing. Maria could have, could have gone through what we went through together and she could have packed it in, packed it in. But there's, there's always some place to go and it's always up. Maria, thank you for being vulnerable. That's amazing. So guys, again, if you're just jumping on, if you're jumping onto Instagram, send me an inbox, let me know where your email address is, I'll send you this content. If you're jumping on Facebook, either now or on the replay, share this content, you will get a free ebook on this content plus a free 26 page business plan on how to get started with your own business. So here we go. The three big things that really, really assisted me. Number one, mindset. Your money mindset. And before I go into that, Jody says, yes, struggled for the last two years, but pushed through, still getting her on her feet. She too feels glad to be doing something that she's passionate about. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos, for sharing. And John says that he's gone through it twice. It's tough, but again, we can have it be tough or we can push through. So mindset is big. Number one is mindset. When I mean about money mindset, it's not about the relationship that you need to have with money. And it's, it's about having a positive outlook. It's about, it's about having that mindset where you're focusing on prosperity. You're focusing on abundance. You're focusing on what you do have, not compared to what you don't have. Because if you can wake up and you can feel abundant, if you can feel prosperous, because we all are, if you wake up and you can have an outfit to put on your back, if you can get in a car, whether it's used, new, owned, or leased, and you have a, you have a house to put a key into a door to turn it and go into, congratulations, you are abundant and you are prosperous. And when you can start wrapping our heads around those things and realizing our thoughts dictate our actions, our feelings, our emotions, our outcomes, life starts to change. So it wasn't until I started to really wrap my head around being grateful for everything that I have. It's not about the amount of money in your bank account. It's about how you feel about where you are because you have to have the mindset of a millionaire and billionaire before that money shows up. You have to have those brain calluses that make you ready and prepared for when anything happens, where you bottom out twice like I did and like John did and like Maria had to. You become bulletproof. And Michelle says, everything you share is so genuine and valuable. You are truly a gift. Thank you, Michelle. So are you. Jody says, oh, yes, the wrong mindset will drag you down eventually no matter what. When I stopped in the past and started living in my mind like I deserve, things came my way. And, and James says, so true. We get what we think about because that's how we feel. And he's right. But the more how we feel, the more things come. Leanne, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. If you guys are resonating this, please type Y in the chat box, yes in the chat box. So number one is your personal mindset, your personal mindset. Number two, visualizing your goals, visualizing your goals. Visualization is key. If you can't see where you're going, you're not going to know how to get there. If you guys can resonate with that. If you guys can resonate with that, 
please type Y in the chat box. Vision board, yes, or a goal board, whatever you want, an achievement board, whatever you want. If you guys can resonate with that, if you can't see where you're going, how do you expect to achieve it? You need to open your eyes. I call it the blindfold effect. Hi, Kim. And what I mean by the blindfold effect is this. If you wake up, if you wake up each day and you put a blindfold on, you're not going to know where you're going. What's going to happen is you're going to bump into walls. You're going to get cuts. You're going to get bumps. You're going to get bruises, broken bones. And what happens after a while? You, after a while, it, after hitting so many walls, you just stop and you just stand still. And if you just stand still, nothing's going to change. So take the blindfolds off, turn the lights on so you can see exactly where you're going. If that all makes sense and if you guys are resonating with that, why in the chat box, thumbs, hearts, wow faces, flowers, whatever you want to give me so I know that you are resonating with this. And Linda says, focus your awareness on what truly matters to you and your dreams, your values, what you love and care about, not on the fleeting, trivial, trivial things. Pay less attention to the fears and frustrations and much more attention to the positive possibilities and opportunities. Linda, I love every single thing that you just said. That's right, James, on fire. If you guys can resonate with all of this, please, why in the chat box? Yes, in the chat box. Thank you for the thumbs. Thank you for the hearts. This is important. This is important. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you, Jody. So you have to visualize where you're going. Write down your goals. Write specifically what you want to achieve. Write specifically what you want to create. And what I love, I said it a few weeks ago, that some of the greatest songs that will never, ever be written are buried in graveyards around this world. You all have gifts inside of you. Let it out. Visualize your dreams and your goals by putting it down on paper so you can see it, so you can know where you're going. If you don't have a map in front of you, you're going to drive in circles. You need to keep going in that straight line. Maria says absolutely. Jody says yes with a lot of S's. James says yes, yes, yes. Linda, thank you guys. Now, so number two is visualize. Number three, have a team. Have a team. You need people around you. You know, the first business coach I ever hired was Jeffrey Combs, and I know a lot of people on here still and have worked with him. And he was the first person to actually teach me the fact that our minds are that powerful where if you can think about what you want to achieve, you can actually put yourself in, in action that way. So surrounding yourself with mindful people, positive people, people with, with a good relationship with money mindset that are big dreamers, big, big, they have big goals that scare the hell out of them. Those are the people you want. Chasing your tail, Leanne says. We have dollar bills pinned to our, our, our ceiling, changed to our goal amounts of money so we see it every morning. That's right, Josh. And Leanne said she just hired him. Chuck said on it, James said teamwork makes the dream work, and yes, it does. So now where I am, you know, the, the most basic ways to start with a team is I, I made sure that I had a business accountant that specialized in entrepreneurs and small businesses and stay-at-home businesses. That was number one. Number two, I hired a financial planner because I wanted my money to work for me. I didn't want to, I wanted to always work for my money, but then I wanted to have my money work for me. So two of the first things I did was get a financial planner and get a, a lawyer, uh, get an accountant that focused on small businesses, at home businesses and entrepreneurial businesses. Those were the first two things that I did. Number three, I got a business attorney because if you have a home based business, if you have an S corp, if you have an LLC, you're going to need certain documentations as you go on your journey. Those are the three big things that people need to start with. The more organized you are, the more people you have working with you, it's going to be easier that way. And recently, because, and this is where you want to go. I, I have a virtual assistant that helps me with all of the little things, with emails and sending out information. I have an amazing, amazing marketing manager named Tanil Curry in Canada that helps me with my ebooks, helps me with my content, keeps me organized. She's such a vital part of, of me getting these products out to you guys. And, and you, you need people around you. Uh, I, I just started working with one of my good buddies, Rich Ennis who's 
uh, life insurance specialist, but focuses on how to make that into a wealth creation vehicle. And when he started sharing with me, you don't just want to get a term policy, you want a whole life policy. You want that whole life insurance plan working for you tax free so you're setting yourself up with another residual based income. Thank you, Molly. So if you guys can resonate with all this, please type Y in the chat box, thumbs, hearts, just so you guys need people around you that know what you can't do everything on your own. You can't do everything on your own. You need, you need people helping you with, with where you're going with your businesses because you can't limit yourself. Type Y in the chat box, yes in the chat box. And again, if you share this content, if you're just jumping on, I will send you a free ebook on this content with a free 26 page business plan on how to move yourself forward with your online business, home based business, network marketing business, free. It's for you guys. And again, remember, we all are going in the same direction. There is no specific timetable on how long it's going to take. It all happens when it's supposed to happen. But when you believe in what you're doing and when you trust the process, everything will come your way. If that all makes sense and if you guys are resonating with that, please let me know that, that it's, it's, it's hitting home. Why in the chat box? Yes in the chat box. Michelle says, Scott, I'm at work and keep losing the connection. That, it's okay, you can watch the replay. You're so welcome, Michelle. Just let me know, thumbs, hearts, why in the chat box, yes in the chat box, thank you, Linda. Just to make sure, so I know that you guys are, are resonating with all this, and again, if you are on the replay, if you're on right here and you haven't shared, I have this content for free. I have an ebook and I have a 26 page business plan free for you guys. All you have to do is hit the share button, let me know that you shared it via Facebook Messenger, Give me your email address and I'm going to send this content out later to you today. But I felt like, thank you. Thank you, Leanne. Yes, giant light bulb. Thank you, Chuck. Guys, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. You guys have to understand that I believe in every single one of you. But the most important person that needs to believe in you is yourself. You need to look yourself in the mirror every single day and realize that you are enough you are perfectly imperfect just the way that you are. And you will achieve everything that you're looking to achieve. Everything. Because the only thing that will ever stop you is you. So when you can quiet the noise, when you can take the blindfold off, you will see and know exactly where you're going. And I would love to help you in any way possible. If anybody wants a free 15 minute coaching session, you can also inbox me. I can put you on my calendar. I'd be happy to talk to you. Again, share this content. Send me your email address. Let me know that you shared it. I'll send you the ebook and a free 26 page business plan on how to get more organized in your business. And again, if you guys are resonating with this, please, thumbs, hearts, why in the chat box. And you guys can do this. I believe in you. You need to believe in you. Guys, enjoy the rest of this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. I'm here for you. I'm grateful for you. Love you all, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, everybody.